The Russian MC-21 aircraft is progressing into an important phase of development. Following the successful resolution of significant challenges in import substitution, certification, and the adoption of indigenous composite technologies, the subsequent key objective is weight optimization. Engineers participating in the program have recognized that the first serial configuration of the aircraft was heavier than initially anticipated. This phenomenon is not uncommon among new generation airliners because both the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350 experienced early prototypes that exceeded empty weight targets. For the MC-21, reducing structural mass and improving onboard systems is not just a matter of efficiency. It directly influences range, fuel consumption, payload capacity, operational cost, and ultimately the aircraft's competitiveness in a global market dominated by long-established Western manufacturers. Chief designer Vitaly Narishkin has stated that the aircraft will undergo continuous modernization, with weight reduction as a key priority in upcoming production stages. The MC-21 was developed during a period of major technological transformation. The use of composite wings, advanced avionics, modern aerodynamics, and the shift to Russian-produced materials after Western sanctions created a complex engineering environment. Several components, especially system assemblies and subsystem housings, became heavier when domestic replacements were adopted. Early experimental aircraft used many imported systems and foreign composite materials. When Russia transitioned to its own polymer composites, engineers had to redesign certain structures. Domestic carbon fiber at that stage had slightly different properties, requiring reinforcement of specific sections to maintain safety margins. All these factors contributed to an increase in weight. Zero. As a result, engineers acknowledged that further optimization would be essential once stable serial production began especially with the introduction of the PD-14 engine. According to Narishkin, improvements to the MC-21 cannot be postponed until after mass manufacturing. The design bureau is simultaneously developing the first aircraft and an improved lighter configuration. The main objective of weight reduction is aimed at structural components. Engineers are analyzing fuselage frame geometry, redistributing loads, and evaluating the possibility of reducing or removing excess thickness in reinforcement ribs that were over-engineered during the rapid import substitution period. Weight reduction also extends to secondary structures such as brackets, housings, support beams, and interior cabin panels. In parallel, suppliers are being encouraged to decrease the weight of their systems. Hydraulic units, electrical systems, air conditioning assemblies, avionics modules, and landing gear components are all under evaluation. Although domestic manufacturers successfully replaced foreign systems, many substitutions were designed under time pressure. The next phase aims to re-engineer these systems using lighter alloys, more efficient configurations, and improved manufacturing techniques. Aerodynamic improvements, while not directly reducing weight, allow engineers to reassess weight-critical components. If overall drag is reduced, structural reinforcement or additional fuel mass may no longer be necessary. Engineers are studying refinements to the wing profile, winglet angles, engine nacelle aerodynamics, and airflow around the fuselage. Enhanced computational fluid dynamics tools help simulate these changes and justify removing excess weight from the structure. This balance between aerodynamics and weight reduction will play a major role in upcoming improvements, especially for future long-range versions. Narishkin has warned that without ongoing modernization, the MC-21 risks repeating the fate of earlier Soviet aircraft, such as the Tu-154 and the Yak-42. These aircraft started as advanced designs but lacked continuous upgrades, allowing Western competitors that updated models every few years to maintain an advantage. Today, Boeing and Airbus rely heavily on incremental improvements to engines, avionics, interiors, aerodynamics, and weight reduction. To remain competitive, Russian aircraft must follow the same approach. 
Neglecting weight reduction could increase fuel burn and reduce range, weakening the MC21's appeal, especially for long-range variants. The development of the MC21-210, a shorter-range variant intended for domestic routes across Russia, depends greatly on successful weight reduction. Lighter airframes will be essential for achieving the expected performance of the future MC21-500, particularly for long distances or high-capacity routes. A streamlined lightweight platform also opens the door for future versions, such as extended-range configurations or high-efficiency special models. A common misconception claims the MC-21 is simply a revised Yak-242. Vitaly Narishkin has repeatedly emphasized that this is entirely false. The Yak-242 was only a conceptual project from the late 1980s and early 1990s. It belonged to an earlier generation with older materials, design philosophy, and technologies. The MC-21, however, was developed from scratch using 21st century aerodynamics, computational modeling, advanced composites, fly-by-wire controls, and modern safety architecture. It features a composite wing, a modern digital cockpit, new generation engines, and completely different manufacturing methods. The differences extend to fuselage diameter, wing design, avionics, structural engineering, and materials. One of the program's major achievements is the adoption of fully domestic technologies. The aircraft now uses Russian-made composites, Russian avionics, Russian flight control processors, Russian landing gear, and Russian system integration. Developing domestic carbon fiber has given Russia independence over a critical resource. The composite wing is among the most advanced structures in its class, improving fuel efficiency and enabling additional weight optimization studies. The PD-14 engine, Russia's first newly developed civil turbofan in several decades, also improves propulsion efficiency and allows better integration with the airframe. As suppliers refine their products, more opportunities for weight reduction will emerge. The philosophy guiding the MC-21 program is long-term modernization rather than producing a single fixed version. Engineers will continue refining weight, aerodynamics, avionics, cabin systems, and engine integration. The goal is to ensure that every production batch is better than the previous one. With each cycle of development, the aircraft will become lighter, more efficient, and more competitive. Over time, the MC-21 evolves from a single aircraft into a flexible platform. In conclusion, the MC-21 is entering a decisive phase where weight reduction plays a central role. Engineers are improving structures, optimizing systems, enhancing aerodynamics, and redesigning components to meet international efficiency standards. The motivation is both technological and market-driven. To compete with global manufacturers, Russian airliners must follow a strategy of continuous improvement. As the chief designer emphasized, the MC-21 is not a Yak-242 successor, but a fully modern aircraft created from the ground up. The upcoming weight-optimized versions will highlight this difference even further. The result will be a lighter, more efficient, and more capable MC-21, designed to serve for decades with ongoing modernization. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.